Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with an exponential system, sort of. And I'll be presenting two methods. So we have 2 to the power x equals 6 and 3 to the power y is equal to 12. And we're going to find the, the value of y, but not just numerically, we're going to find y in terms of x. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at both methods. And let's start with the second method this time. You know, we always start with the first method, which is not always fun. Let's start with the second method. Now, my second method involves the following. I'm going to ln both sides in the first equation. So ln 2 to the power x equals ln 6. And I'm going to bring down the x here. And that's going to give me, you know, we have a rule for logarithms. x times ln 2 equals ln 6. And from here, I can write x as ln 6 over ln 2. Obviously, you can use any base uh, with this. It doesn't really matter. You could use uh, base 2, you could use base 3, so on and so forth. But I wanted to use ln, which is kind of generic, and it's the natural log, and, you know, it has some nice properties. Anyways, so I can basically write x as this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other equation, see what we can do there. Let's also ln both sides here. So kind of like separate these. And this gives us y ln 3 equals ln 12. And from here, y becomes ln 12 over ln 3. So we could also express the problem like this. x equals this, y equals that. Can you find or, or express y in terms of x? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and uh, simplify this expression. First of all, I'm going to start with x and write the ln 6 as ln 3 times 2. So remember, uh, log of a product is the sum of logs. So we can write this as ln 6 can be written as ln 3 plus ln 2 divided by ln 2. And now we can kind of separate this a little bit and write it as ln 3 over ln 2 plus ln 2 over ln 2, which is 1. Awesome. And from here, what I can do is I can isolate ln 3 over ln 2 and write it as x minus 1. Now, it is important to be able to express a logarithmic expression in terms of x because we do need to substitute that into y so we can find y in terms of x. But first, let's go ahead and work on this expression a little bit we can, so we can make it look like x minus 1. Okay, great. So now we know that y is equal to ln 12 over ln 3. And 12 can be written as 4 times 3, therefore, this is equivalent to ln 4 plus ln 3 divided by ln 3. And this is 2 ln 2 because it's ln 2 squared. So I can write it as 2 ln 2 divided by ln 3 plus ln 3 over ln 3 is equal to 1. So I'm just going to write it as 1. Awesome. Now we have an expression for ln 3 over ln 2 here. How can I use that here? Well, I can go ahead and flip ln 2 over ln 3 and write it as 2 over ln 3 over ln 2 plus 1. And remember, this is y. And now we know that ln 3 over ln 2 can be written as x minus 1. So we can replace it with x minus 1. So y equals 2 over x minus 1 plus 1. And if you make a common denominator, you get 2 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1. And finally, y becomes x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So this allows us to express y in terms of x. And this brings us to the end of the second method. Not to the end of the video, because we still have to do the first method. So let's go ahead and do the first method next. Okay, so our, my first method involves the following. I'm going to write the 2 to the power x equals 6 as 2 to the power x equals 2 times 3. No objections, right? And then divide both sides by 2. And when you divide 2 to the power x by 2, you're going to get 2 to the power x minus 1 because 2 is 2 to the first power. 2 to the power x minus 1 equals 3. This is nice because it is. I don't know why, but it's just nice. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and work on the other part now. We have 3 to the power y equals 12. But again, I'm going to write it as 4 times 3. So we used a similar approach before. Remember, just did it with logarithms. This time, I'm not using logarithms. So if you don't like logarithms, you're probably going to like the first method. So 3 to the power y can be written as 4 times 3. 
And since 3 can be written as 2 to the power x minus 1, remember our goal is to express y in terms of x. So let's go ahead and replace the 3 with 2 to the power x minus 1. Now we're not getting rid of the y, but we are kind of getting rid of the 3 because um, we want to end up with powers of 2 only. And again, let's replace this 3 with 2 to the power x minus 1. Now notice that we no longer have 3's, but everything is a power of 2 here, which is nice. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Uh, power of a power, we're supposed to multiply them. Uh, you can just go ahead and multiply uh, this, but don't distribute because we want to keep the y alone, sort of. And this can be written as 2 to the second power. So it's kind of like 2 to the power 2 plus x minus 1, which you can write as, okay, I'm going to show my work. Anyway, so it's going to be like this. 2 to the power y times the quantity x minus 1 equals 2 to the power x plus 1. Awesome! We got an equation. What is this supposed to mean? This means that we can set the exponents equal because the bases are equal. So now we can safely say that y times x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1. Now the good thing about not distributing the y is we don't have to factor it again. Now we can just go ahead and divide both sides by x minus 1. And obviously, x does not equal 1. Come on. We are given at 2 to the power x equals 6. Everybody knows that, hopefully, x does not equal 1. Okay. If you divide both sides by x minus 1, you get y equals x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Did we get the same thing with the second method? Yes, we did. So our method is probably correct, right? Okay. Now, what is that supposed to mean? This basically means, this result basically implies that if 2 to the power x is equal to 6, then 3 to the power x plus 1 over x minus 1 is going to equal 12. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. So instead of multiplying the 6 by 2, you can just do 3 to the power that. All right, and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.